When the suspect was found, again, right now we know uh, this Union County ambulance, we've been told the suspect is inside that ambulance. Ahmad Khan Rahami, who was wounded in a shootout with police after being found sleeping in a building earlier this morning. You and see him pulling up to a University Hospital in Newark where he will uh, apparently be treated for his injuries. He's taken several gunshot wounds. We don't have an exact number, but uh, the Linda Police Department tells us that their officers did open fire after he shot one of their officers. Uh, another officer uh, took a piece of shrapnel or or bullet to the face, uh, said to be very minor injury there. The officers are expected to be okay. It appears that Rahami got the worst of this shootout. We did see pictures of him uh, lying on the ground, handcuffs behind him. His head was up. He was described as alert uh, and conscious by police on the scene, uh, but he is now there at University Hospital in Newark. The FBI taking over uh, and certainly going to keep a very, very close eye on him. There's also those five suspects who are being questioned uh, in Lower Manhattan uh, about their potential involvement in all of this. They were picked up on the Belt Parkway near the Verrazano Bridge uh, just last night. Uh, and again, this is a live look at the scene in Linden, New Jersey. This is East Elizabeth Avenue, where an absolute army of police officers, ATF agents, FBI, and other law enforcement uh, descended once that local business owner saw this guy randomly sleeping in the hallway right by the door of his bar there on Elizabeth Avenue. Uh, he called police. Police arrived and the suspect was woken up and suddenly opened fire. That's when a chase happened. The suspect uh, was described as running down Elizabeth Avenue, firing at cars that were passing by. Uh, police gave chase, shot him, brought him down, and took him into custody. Uh, earlier today, also speaking with uh, the Linden police officers, um, just getting information about did he have something with him or not. We saw a backpack laying on the ground next to the suspect. It is, uh, he said there was something inside um, a valise or something. He correct? said he had a valise with him, but he wasn't mm -hmm. sure if there was was anything inside or not. We asked that point blank. Did he have any potential explosives or, or any type of evidence uh, with him? But the, the captain, uh, James Zarnicki, that we spoke to earlier said that was unclear what may have been in that bag. And now the FBI has taken it uh, as evidence. So we'll have to wait and see what they have to say. We would uh, like to think that there will be more information forthcoming from uh, the authorities about this arrest and the investigation overall. Mm -hmm. uh, there could conceivably uh, still be two people out there there. There are two people who were seen on surveillance video in the Chelsea neighborhood near the scene of Saturday night's bombing and near the scene of the uh unexploded pressure cooker on 27th Street. So there is a possibility that there are others out there, but certainly uh, police are breathing a sigh of relief because this man, Ahmed Khan Rahami, a 28-year-old naturalized citizen of Afghan descent, is now in custody. Uh, they put out his picture earlier today and told everyone to be on the lookout that he is considered armed and dangerous, and that is exactly uh, how it turned out. When police came on the scene, he opened fire. From our live pictures again in Linden, New Jersey,